Hello guys. So today we will start a new dial plan with some new approach. So let's begin. Inside our extensions.com file, we will create an extension which is 100. And inside it, we have to firstly take two variables and we will make use of set function. First variable will be invalid, set it to zero. And let's take other variable as timeout. And after this, when user dials extension 100, we have to speak this text, which is welcome to IBRS. Please choose option. And the two options would be press one to call user one, and second would be user one, user two, press two to call user two. Press to do call to user 2 and 1 for user 1 and wait extend. Don't forget to write this else it will not wait for the user input. Wait for 5 seconds. Now let's make one as extension 1. And one is extension two. What happens when user presses two? And then if user presses any any button which is not defined like invalid case so now what we have to do invalid case and inside this case we have to check the user in inputs if user presses wrong input on first attempt then what we have to do let's update the value of invalid don't forget this syntax which i'm writing it here Incremented by one and on the next line we have to use go to if this is the other function it acts like if else case so we will use it conditionally here so go to if 
a value of invalid value of is less than 2 is less than 2 if it is less than 2 then what we can do we can say that you chose an invalid option option please try again extension at start label and we have to define this label also and set this label here because this will work like this when user uh, dials 100 extension then he will listen this and then these lines and if he presses one then we will move to this extension if he presses 2 this will move to this extension and if he presses the extension which is not defined then we will increment this invalid value and check whether this value is less than 2 or not if this is less than 2 then what we have to do we have to continue continue like it will speak this text and after this we will make it to move to 100 extension at the start level and a start level is defined here that means the Google DTS will speak this line again and again until this condition gets false. So now we have written that move to end if this condition gets false. So and define define it here and end. At end, we just have to hang up, or we can say that Google TTS dot AGI and here number of attempts. And hang up the call. And now let's work for timeout. Timeout case. Timeout case. And for timeout also, we have to use these lines. And variable we have defined as timeout, so we will rename it to timeout. And we will get the value of timeout. Increment it by one and check it for timeout attempts. Timeout attempts is less than two. Then what we have to do? And if this condition is true, then we have to move to 100 extension at a start level. And if it is false, then we have to continue. And comma in here. Mm -hmm. Time out. 
exceeded at English. En is for English language, okay. And then we simply have to hack up. Hello. If user chooses either one or two, then as defined, we have to move to IVR1. If user presses one, so IVR1 context, and here. We are one at S, so that is why we are taking one here. S here. I we are one, and here what we have to do? We have to dial R set one here. That is test one. So we will dial like this. Set and then test one. And if user presses Two. Then we have to define the other. That is I V R two, and on the I V R two also we have S extension. So here S and here two. Okay. Now let's save it and check how this works. this press the console reload dial plan that is dial plan reload now let's dial extension 100 welcome to ibrs please choose option press one to call user one Press two to call user two. Press one to call user one. Press two to call user two. Time doubt exceeded. Okay, so as you can see, it firstly said that press one to call user one, press two to call user two, but we didn't press any button. So it asked again, but we didn't press any button again. So it said timeout. So our timeout worked successfully. Okay, it's showing this error. Google is spelling mistake is here. Let's correct it and run it again. So Google TTS. Google. Okay, we need to reload our dial plan because the spelling of, of Google TTS was wrong at that time. So now let's dial 100 extension and check for number of invalid inputs. Choose option. Press 1 to call user 1. Press 2 to call user 2. You chose an invalid option. Please try again. Press 1 to call user 1. Press 2 to call user 2. Number of attempts exceeded. Okay, so it also ran successfully. And now let's check it for the calling purpose for user 1. IRS, please choose option. Press 1 to call user 1. Press 2 to call user 2. Okay, you can see it died this extension. And we got the call in our table. Thank you. And now let's for extension 2 also that will also run successfully to IVRS please choose option press 1 to call user 1 press 2 to call user 2 ok and dial extension 2 
So we successfully ran both the extensions. Now let me explain you our dial plan again. So basically it's simple. User dial extension 100 and we first place at these values to zero and user heard these things and and we have to wait for five seconds for user input and then if user presses one we have to move to ivr one context and if he presses two then we have to move our ivr is two context and these contexts are here and if he presses any key which is not defined like one and two is defined but others are not defined so what we have to do for that so we can use this condition to have number of inputs increased or decreased. So here we have defined two. This means user can dial for at most two attempts. And then if he fails, then it says this thing. And this works, this question mark colon works like this. Suppose this condition is true. Then after question mark, there is not written anything. So it will continue this line. And as it is written, go to 100 start, then it will move to this place again. And if this condition gets false, then after colon, we have written end. So it will execute these lines. And accordingly, for timeout also, we have defined it here, incremented it. And this is the condition. If this condition is true, then we have to move to 100 and start level which is here and if it is false then no need, no need to define colon and then this simply leave that part and it will execute these lines okay guys thank you so if you feel this video is helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel anti-confusion thank you